ladies and gentlemen, and online viewers from all around the world. Welcome to Taiwan Security Solutions webinar. I'm Winnie. It's my pleasure to be your EMC today. This event is organized by TITRA, Taiwan's foremost trade promotion organization, in collaboration of Barrel of Foreign Trade Taiwan. To kickstart today's webinar, I would like to first invite Mr. Jun Zhe Wu, the Director of Strategy Marketing Department of TITRA, to deliver his opening remarks. Welcome, Director Wu. Distinguished guests and speakers from Taiwan's well-known security solution providers, greetings from Taiwan. On behalf of the Taiwan External Trade Development Council, TITRA, I would like to extend a warm welcome to everyone participating in today's Taiwan Security Solutions webinar. In recent years, security concerns to ICT products are constantly identified as one of the top issues for many countries. Since Section 889 of National Defense Authorization Act went into effect in these two years, U.S. federal government and government contractors have been prohibited from procuring or using certain telecommunication equipment or services produced from specific companies from China. During the transition of supply chain, we are confident that enterprises in Taiwan are your ideal partners and we can help you deliver the solutions you are seeking for. Taiwanese enterprises have proven themselves as competent solution providers in security industry, combining technologies such as IoT, AI identification, and cloud-based wireless network. Companies in Taiwan have completed countless successful projects in Taiwan and over, all over the world. By providing solutions in smart transportation, smart disaster prevention, law enforcement, and more other fields, they have enhanced many cities' safety and brought well-being to the local community. Today, TITRA is honored to invite five excellent security pr solution providers, including Systems and Technology Corp., Merit Lelelin, Geosense, IO Networks, and Everfocus, to introduce their solutions. Thank you for joining our online webinar again. Hope you all enjoy their presentation and have deeper conversation afterwards. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Wu, for joining us today. Let's move on to the next section. We have brought to this event five excellent companies. They will provide security solutions which use in different field area. First, transportation has always been an important aspect of urban management. This is especially true for security industry. By integrating with different smart technologies, efficiency of transportation systems can be greatly enhanced. Since its inception in 1987, System and Technology Corp. has provided its client with a full range of customized solutions that incorporate satellite tracking and positioning and geographic information systems. We will now invite Mr. Adele Williams from SysTech to make a presentation for giving us more details. During the presentation, if you have any further questions, please feel free to submit the questionnaire by using the QA link on the bottom of the screen. We will collect the questions and answer it in the following week. First, let's welcome Mr. Adele Williams from SysTech. Hello, everyone. My name is Williams, and uh, I would like to introduce you today my company, Systems and Technology Corporation. Systems and Technology Corporation is a Taiwan established company. It was founded in uh, 1987 and uh, one of the market leaders in the fleet management and uh, GIS solutions. In 2010, Systech listed as a, a pre OTC company in Taiwan. Our export market uh, is above 180 countries, and uh, we have more than 1 million activated devices across the globe. For over 30 years, our company's development has been recognized internationally with a high quality product. We and our RD team 
are dedicated to the GPS device development and excellence, and the standard product development process, and advanced test equipment to expedite the development in t on time for our products. We offer IOV total solution, vehicle tracker, asset tracker, personal tracker, and intelligent telematic computers. To better deliver, we also offer our fleet management platform. We certify PTCRB, AT&T, HOHUS, and others. So over 30 years of uh, development of focus on the GPS, we have managed to build a very great and interesting partnership across the globe. Intel, GPS Gate, Gertram, Telit, TomTom, you can name it. Our product line, KU, we call it. KU series are uh, GPS trackers, personal trackers, and asset trackers. To overcome the uh, outbreak, we also develop a special device that can help to overcome the spread of this COVID, which we call the FT1. It's facial recognition, temperature screening, and access control integrated device. Our platform, Fleet Web, and the Fleet Easy, is a vehicle real-time tracking, driver behavior monitoring, advanced report analysis, and is very flexible in terms of customization. So we have it a web platform as well as mobile platform. Our mobile platform is Android and iOS. So Fleet Web can help you to manage all your fleet in one platform. So I would like to share also a few of our cases so that you know what Systech has been doing over these 30 years. I will start by the intelligence bus system integration, which is basically used in most of the cities in Taiwan and also now be expanded to the international countries. So this uh, technology is to monitor the vehicle tracking, I mean the bus tracking, and to control the route efficiency to improve the service quality to the people. It can also provide the real-time bus arrival and departures. Another very interesting uh, case I would like to share with you is our environmental protection uh, technology. This technology is uh, to manage the waste in the city. And uh, we, may, we do our best to provide a better solution so that in Taiwan so far, we have more than 80% of the city using system technologies. As you may know, dispatching, distribution become very essential, especially in this time. So we provide logistic solutions for Taiwanese uh, convenience stores, as well as online shopping malls. Another very interesting technology we add to the market is the intelligent bus management and the monitoring systems, which we recently developed in St. Vincent and Grenadine. This technology is established to strengthen the function of the bus management. For the newest development we have done, I would like to introduce our asset tracker. This device is a very compact device, which can be used in the logistic, the warehouse, construction sites, as well as some ports. The device is developed to monitor the asset anywhere to increase the protection against the theft. It has about six years in battery life. It is waterproof, dust resistant for outdoor demanding environment. This device is to improve by optimizing the asset utilization. It has the capability to detect the ambient light and the change in the uh, temperature. It is very easy to be installed, as you can see. When it's a parcel tracker, it's very simple to be slipped in the box. And when it's an asset tracker with the strong magnetic mount, 
you just need to click on your, uh, your vehicle and it's easy, easy to go. It can detect the temperature, it can de de detect the difference in light, and also it has six years in battery life. Another technology I would like to share with you, especially for the safety on the road, is our advanced driver assistance system. This system is integrated with GPS tracker, driver recorder, and other system. So, this technology can help you to improve the safety of your drivers, to improve the safety in the traffic, to improve the safety of all your assets. So, it can be able to record your, your trip, to assist your driver while driving. For example, it can help to avoid the or prevent for collusions, okay? Safe distance alert can be sent to you. Lane departures, front car departures, virtual bumpers, and also for our pedestrian, it can send an alert to the driver so that he cares who is coming on the road. Also, I would like now to introduce our FT1 to you as our new technology to overcome the outbreak of COVID-19. Please, thank you so much for your attention and uh, feel free to visit our website and uh, thank you so much for your attention. Thank you. Let me introduce our, you our FT1. FT1 has a normal camera, temperature camera and the speaker. So let's do the test together. Please wear a mask. Temperature normal. So my temperature is normal but I'm not wearing my mask. So let me wear my mask. Temperature normal. Temperature normal. Temperature normal. Passed. So temperature I, normal. I pass passed. it because I wear my temperature mask. Temperature normal. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Adele. If you have any further questions or requests, please leave them by scanning the QR link on the bottom of the screen. Next. Let's focus on relieving traffic congestion and traffic violation detection under the topic of smart transportation. Merli Liling is a 40-year industry veteran providing security solutions to improve traffic management. Founded in 1980, Liling has provided the public with the smoothest driving experience possible with the help of high-speed dome-style cameras and several key sections of the road. Now, Let's welcome Mr. Alun Komni from Lili to talk about the, the solutions. Alun, the floor is yours. Hello everyone. My name is Alun Komni. I'm project manager for Lili in Taiwan. Today I would like to introduce you about our company and how we can help you to achieve some project in your area and nearby area. First of all, as you can see, we are a Taiwanese company. I love Taiwan, and it's very important to claim it. We are celebrating our 40 years anniversary. I agree, it's a lot of candle on the birthday cake, but it's worth it. So we are NDA and TA compliant. We don't joke with privacy data. So we comply with the law like FIPS 142, California State for safety. So we have many compliant, we are okay. Established in 1980s, Taiwan is a leading manufacturing company. We work in different markets such as retail, education, manufacturing of government. We have train branch worldwide to service you, a whole team and expert to provide you recommendation for your project. And we we'll also provide after sales support. As I did say previously, I love Taiwan not only for its night market, but also for the integrity of all our employees where always try to suppress himself. Our founder, Mr. Xu, insists to have in-house development to control the whole process from design, assembly, production, packing, and delivery. Also, we are able to track any order by using QR code on every of our product. Regarding security and cybersecurity, Lilin takes it very seriously and submit the product for certification. We work with few laboratories like Deloitte Taiwan, ETC, and CHT Security in Taiwan. Lilin doesn't use high silicon chipset on all its products. 
This is a competent table for your reference. We are very strong in home automation, such as Control4 ecosystem. We are end-to-end -end provider solution. We provide camera, MVR, server, VMS, and IDA software. We have different kind of scenario. And also, if you need to train specific database, we can do it in a very short time. This is the NDA product comparison table for reference. We can target different kind of level with different kind of budget. We have full series of H265 product with different level for every budget. All leading housing is made by ourselves. So we don't buy Chinese product with own casing. Everything is designed in house. Like this camera, the 6822, is a very small camera, like a golf ball. And it's very convenient for space limitation environment. This camera is another hot selling camera. It's a Z2R8022. It's very good for raw monitoring. It's very robust and can be installed outside. Also, another reason why I love Taiwan is you have beautiful scene. So this is a scene we took with our product using the P2 series to show the low light performance capabilities. Also, we have PTZ camera. It's very good for parking installation. We also have our own IE installation algorithm. We develop everything in-house. So we have capabilities to reduce false alarm. We also do traffic management. So we are able to implement different kind of behavior, such as illegal turn right, turn left, wrong way detection. So we can prevent illegal or bad behavior attitudes. This is a list of non-exhaustive countries that we are supporting for the AMPR. We do many projects. And if you have a project in Latin America, you can send to us and we can discuss together. We also support car brand recognition. So all the logo is recognized. This is an example of project we have in Taiwan, in Kaohsiung, where the city mayor wants to monitor sensitive street where many accidents occur. They are using leading outdoor camera installed on the long spot, which connected to our EDA server. And the monitoring center is using our software and our VMS to receive real-time notification on every intersection. Also, we have queue detection. This is very good for illegal or abnormal traffic happen on some road. So if I have more than four cars in a specific area, then I can do some alert to our manager. We also support object recognition. Also, where space is very limited, we can use real-time behavior detecting. And also we have doing some function call, wrong way attitude is possible. This is our new viewer manager. It gathers all the function in one windows. You can have in one windows, live videos, statistic, chart, report, also online map and offline map in one whole windows. So for typical experience, we have a lot of experience, such as Bangladesh for monitoring purpose for police, Italy for highway, and also Saudi Arabia for hotel management. These are some other projects we have in the past. Also, we know that maybe your customer is not using our software. So we make sure that we are compatible with well-known famous brand software, such as Milestone, Genetech, or Exec. Also, we are very strong on the CI market. So we are compatible with Crestron, Control4, RTI, and URC. To finalize, we are able to do a lot of customization. If you have any request, you can contact our US office in Arcadia, California, and welcome to visit our website. Thank you for listening, and stay safe. Thank you, Alum. Now, next. 
AI is one of the key technologies to provide services that would be unfeasible for operations that rely solely on human workers. Focusing on the development of AI image recognition, IO Network is endeavoring to providing face recognition, high-speed license plate recognition, traffic analyzed and violation detected solutions. Now, let's welcome Mr. Chris Zhang, the representative from IO Network, to provide more details for their solutions. Let's welcome Chris. Hi, everyone. I'm Chris Chen, representing IO Networks for the company and solution introduction. Also, how we can collaborate together for USA market. This is my company introduction. IO Networks is an AI-based video management and analytics solution provider in Taiwan. We're targeting high-end enterprise and public sector of smart city. We found out 2014, we are a six-year-old company, still young. 30 employees, four PhD focus on deep learning algorithm. We have a dedicated team in Taiwan. Also, we posted three million US dollars sales revenue in 2019, and we have been posted positive profit three years in a row since 2018 for a software-based company. That's not bad. We have now business engagement with first-tier enterprise in Europe, Israel, India, Japan, South East Asia, and Taiwan. Of course, we would like to expand our engagement to USA market. What we have now, we have two deep learning algorithm RMD in Silicon Valley, leading the AI development. So we can leverage the latest algorithm structure and also the R&D capabilities in Taiwan for the development. And we have one senior experienced business developer person in Silicon Valley. We have a solid business expansion plan. However, due to the COVID-19, we will make it next year. Rock and roll together with you guys. About our advantage, all our investment, manufacturer, and technical team are from Taiwan or USA, which is a very simple combination. And we have been certified by Japan and Europe enterprise, especially for some giant telecom infrastructure and surveillance provider. So we believe we are capable of making the same success in USA. Under the scope of smart city, we got three domain focus, smart traffic, smart building and manufacture, and also smart Medicare. We have video platforms and applications. This is the platforms about video management platforms with the software and advantage and also the auto fail over function, we can save the hardware cost, including camera and server, as well as software, which is the license. And we make the face recognition into a complete access control system for visiting attendance purpose with full function like grouping, time control, and connecting. And we have traffic management platform to manage all the information from AI traffic applications. And this is our AI applications, included face recognition, license plate, violation, digital fans, flow, analytics, fall detection, fire and smoke, and also abnormal detection for highway. And this are all the ready platforms on the shelf. Okay, I will go for a little bit detail for our solutions. And smart traffic is our major topic. Our license plate recognition is different from what we usually see in the car park. We can detect multiple vehicle also moving at a very high speed like 170 km per hour and even the camera angle is like 30 degrees due to the insulation. We are able to detect it clearly and to have real-time notification for stolen car, criminal car, VIP car, and police car. In Asia, these applications usually used for tracking the vehicle with a drunk driving record. 
we have AI, panoramic, traffic flow, analytics. One fisheye camera can cover the entire junction, save the cost, to have vehicle flow counting, vehicle classification, path analysis. All the information will be delivered to a traffic logic control system to adjust traffic for transportation department requirement. We have a traffic violation detection. We can record the valid car behavior plus its license plate for ticketing purpose. And it can improve the traffic, reduce the accident, and also the government can make the money. That's a very important thing. All the above mentioned information from traffic applications can be connected, presented, and managed by the traffic management platform. In Europe, the enterprise are promoting both our platforms and AI applications to the traffic management company for highway and city. So platform is a must. Okay, apart from smart traffic, I'll address some information for construction and production site safety, also the healthcare. I will start with site security. Uh, we have alarm on animal or person for the designated area. The interesting thing is that the alarm will be popped out according to the central point of recognized frame breaching designated area, which means the feet of a passenger or the button of the bicycle, like the wheel. So if a bird fly by or the leaves from the trees pass by, alarm will not be popped out. Less false alarm. Second, for construction, we have helmet and vest personal compliance. Also, if other wearings like gloves, boots, we can make it customized. And very small pixel of the picture being detected, the alarm will be popped out. So safety is ensured. About the production side operation monitoring, we have IR clearance area. We can recognize the object in the area are human beings or others. And we have operator giving notification by gesture. Alarm will be popped out when fixed gesture is detected. That's for the operator support required purpose. And we have SMT machine status by light monitoring. Notification pop out while light changing with different color. And the alarm trigger can be for all the events. And the last, healthcare, the fall detection. You know the average age in Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, even the USA is getting higher. We got to take care of the senior citizen. So the fall detection with image sensor, you can see with the depth image, the, the privacy can be ensured because you cannot recognize the person. And also the accuracy is higher, less false alarm. So we can fully utilize the equipment because you won't turn it off because of the lot of false alarm. Your money will not be wasted. Okay, successful cases. You, this is the thermal camera alarm system deployed by us all over the office, factory, university, railway in Taiwan against the pandemic COVID-19. So our safety can be ensured. And VMS face recognition deployed in Taiwan Medical Cancer Center. Same in Taiwan Tier 1 OEM factory. And they have 500,000 employee database. This is a very big AI project we have been done. And VMS in Singapore, Australia, Taiwan for the bank project because of the cost effective concept. And VMS face recognition in airline office building of Thai Airways across the global building. City surveillance and traffic analysis in Taiwan, Philippines, Vietnam. Also the mentioned violation detection, law enforcement in Manila, Philippines. Obstacle detection of railway in Taiwan to ensure our safety. So this is all about our networks for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the listening. Thank you very much. And I think this is a difficult 
year. Hope you guys stay safe. We have to overcome the COVID-19 and things will definitely get better tomorrow. And I will see you soon in USA. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Chris. If you have any further questions or requests for IO Network, please leave your opinions or questions by scanning the QA link at the bottom of the screen. Next, we are going to move on other field area which security solutions are applied, such as law enforcement and campus security. Everfocus Electronic Corp is one of the world leading providers of surveillance products, AIoT solutions, and industrial PCs. They not only integrated mobile communications to facilitate vehicle tracking, using alarm buttons to trigger recording of events, but also ensure the safety of the faculty and students with combination of audio, video, and mapping. Now, let's welcome Mr. Zhang Zhuang, the representative from Focus Electronic Corp, to talk about their solution and the using field area. John, the floor is yours. Hi, how are you? My name is John Trong, President of Everfocus Electronics. Uh, thank you very much for having me today here to share some information about our company and our solution. So Everfocus Electronics, we design and manufacture a turnkey intelligence security system and solution from hardware to software and into many different application area. And today we're going to take a little bit, uh, take, take a brief moment to share with you, uh, share with you our use case scenario in the following three areas. Intelligent, law enforcement, fleet management, as well as intelligent campus security. So Everfocus Electronics, we're a global company, and uh, ISO 9001 and 14001 certified manufacture, uh, manufacture facility. The manufacturing headquarter is in Taipei, New Taipei City, and uh, we have, uh, the company has been established since 1995. It's a company with a uh, long history, and then we have been working with uh, a global well-known uh, turnkey security solution provider and that we mainly provide to uh, America market as well as Europe market. And as a, as a company that, that has a long-standing history, we, uh, all of our products are made in Taiwan and we also have a lot of award-winning made in Taiwan security surveillance solution that has been providing, that has been deployed throughout the world. <coughs> And then f uh, from overall, as a company-wise, like you know, the company has a manufacturing headquarters in Taipei with a factory, uh, factory and a management team, product development team in Taipei. And then we also have a global support team uh, domestically in North America as well as in, uh, in uh, Europe. And then the company is also supported by a well-known uh, high-tech computer company, Asus Computer, and uh, industrial PC company, Aeon Technology, as well as Onyx Healthcare. So from the solution perspective, we focus on providing our, uh, our we focus our technology into the following three uh, product category. The first one is the uh, mobile surveillance solution. That's, uh, that currently has many different applications into ranging from uh, transportation, smart building, et cetera, as well as a uh, hybrid uh, mobile surveillance solution that help transition and migrate the uh, security solution um, infrastructure from analog setting to digital setting. And then in addition to that, we also have uh, some of the large uh, digital uh, deployment on the uh, digital, uh, digital, uh, digital security surveillance uh, solution with our digital MVR. And then aside from our standard offering, like you know, we, because we design and manufacture our own products, so we have full capability to provide customization based on your need. So, uh, so for example, some of the uh, major uh, security uh, surveillance solution uh, providers, like you no, know, they uh, we can also provide a service behind the scene for them to custom build for you, and then custom build specialty camera or custom build specialty uh, NVR, DVR, or mobile surveillance servers uh, based on your need. So, uh, so if you have that kind of uh, request, feel free to let us know. So, um, in addition to the product, uh, the, the technology portfolio, currently the technology has been deployed into the following uh, areas. Uh, intelligent transportation, uh, smart building, intelligent retail, uh, and also campus security, as well as uh, healthcare, uh, healthcare uh, monitoring. So, uh, it, within all these different segments that we deploy the solution to, like our solution range from uh, Intel-based, uh, Windows-based solution as well as NVIDIA-based solution, uh, to, to, uh, especially to deploy some of the, that comes with the artificial intelligence uh, capability. Now, 
yeah, and which is one of the trending deployment in the uh, security and surveillance market right now with the AI capability. So in addition to the security and solu uh, surveillance solution, we also provide a full range of industrial PC, industrial PC products from uh, industrial, uh, industri all-in-one industrial panel PC, uh, industrial server, as well as the industrial embedded controller to embedded board. So that can complement the security and surveillance solution to provide you with a turnkey automation system. So taking a look at the mobile, uh, mobile DVR, our mobile surveillance solution. So it has, uh, currently has a lot of deployment in the intelligence tra transportation for, um, to help with the intelligent fleet management. But then at the same time, there's uh, under, uh, for intelligent law enforcement, there's also capability where, uh, for example, the mobile surveillance solution, uh, mobile DVR is being deployed into the undercover vehicle. And then whereas the uh, law enforcement officer can easily monitor remotely and then set up, their, uh, set up the, the uh, kind of the undercover scenario. Yeah, and taking a close look at the intelligent fleet management. So it's uh, currently we have several different deployments. So one of the more popular deployment is with our uh, mobile DVR uh, bundled with the uh, NVR, uh, NVR system back in the central management station and combined with car, uh, a specialty camera that's designed to be installed on the cart, uh, on the vehicle uh, with an aftermarket, aftermarket install, installation and which works, uh, works with our central management system X fleet and also with a mobile app available to really provide a turnkey end-to-end uh, -end, uh, intelligent fleet management. And uh, aside from the fleet management, we also deploy the uh, mobile surveillance solution into the campus security. So, and then also, uh, which also uh, includes uh, AI function. So for example, it has a geofencing capability and then be able to define area of interest and define like you know, intruders and trigger events. So, uh, and so that, uh, that can provide a you know, uh, uh, seamlessly integration, seamless integration with the camera and also the central management system as well as the alarm button. Yeah, and kind of shifting gear to our hybrid uh, sol surveillance solution. So for the hybrid surveillance solution, it's uh, currently, we also have a lot of popular inquiry for this particular solution because uh, there's a lot of uh, existing, infra uh, existing infrastructure in the, uh, for, for building. And then in order to convert them with the digital uh, security surveillance infrastructure, so like we have this hybrid uh, surveillance solution that support both analog and digital. So you can actually deploy analog CCTV camera and digital IP camera on, um, you know, into the use case scenario at the same time. And then also it's being controlled by the central management system along with the mobile app that makes it easy for the user to manage the, the, uh, to manage the, the, uh, the usage. Yeah, so with that kind of setting, it's, uh, you know, one, of the, one of the deployment we'd like to highlight is the intelligent law enforcement. So uh, keep in mind, all of our solutions are TAA compliant and NDAA compliant. So it's made in Taiwan, and at the same time, the, the camera and also the, the, uh, the, D, the mo uh, DVR, the NVR, they are all made with a, a, a non-high silicon uh, chip, non-high silicon chip deployment. So it's uh, NDAA compliant and ready to deploy. And we currently do have deployment uh, with uh, examples such as undercover warehouse or uh, undercover vehicle and whereas the, the camera and also the mobile surveillance and also the DVR is being deployed at the, from the uh, central station and also throughout the warehouse. And then uh, whereas the control center can monitor remotely and at the same time, the uh, law enforcement officer can also monitor the activities th uh, in, their vehicle, in their vehicle through the mobile app. And then uh, and a lot of time we also have, uh, we also provide assistance to law enforcement because we also deploy uh, security surveillance solution in the uh, public area, public area, uh, for example, train station, and then that's who, and also in the city, city building. And uh, when there's activity happen, you know, we also, ha they can also come to us and uh, also through, uh, retrieve the, the activity and record easily through the system. And then as a, and a, uh, in order to service the federal agency and sector and law enforcement sector, so we, are, we have also been a long time uh, GSA contract holder. So like you know, we're from company and a solution perspective, we're, uh, uh, we are ready to service the federal sector if there's a need. So again, thank you very much for taking a brief moment to, uh, you know, to learn about AeroFocus uh, product and technology portfolio. And then for any additional question, feel free to um, you know, uh, look on www.everfocus.com. And then uh, if uh, there's any further demand, feel free to uh, you know, send us a quick inquiry on sales at everfocus.com. Uh, and next, we're gonna share with you a quick 
uh, use, uh, use case application uh, video that, that will give you an even more clear idea about what we do for securing surveillance. Uh, again, thank you very much for your time today. EverFocus provides total solution from video surveillance to video analytics industrial PC. Customers can monitor and operate in real time via computer or mobile device. EverFocus is skilled at transportation solutions, optimized by OpenVINO Toolkit and Intel Movidius Myriad X AI module. Functions like crowd density detection and flow control are upgraded. AI and VR identifies or monitors the flow of people and communicates related equipment, enabling instant management of electronic gate, digital signage, and more, guarding comprehensively safety of passengers and on-site personnel. In logistic vehicle application, EverFocus's mobile NVR plays a crucial role. OpenVINO Toolkit and Intel Movidius Myriad X AI module uplift functions of driver fatigue and distraction detection to always keep drivers safe. With Driving Assistance System, DAS, any accident caused by blind spot can be reduced to the minimum. Driver would receive instant notification once abnormal objects appear in the area. Moreover, EverFocus's driving record data helps managers effectively control transportation status and improves operation efficiency, provides useful information for big data analysis. Thank you very much, John. If you have any further questions for EverFocus, please leave your opinions by scanning the QA link. The next field we are going to talk about is disaster prevention. When it comes to security, disaster prevention is an indispensable work for ensure city's safety. GeoThinks is an innovative software development team focusing on the development of ICT tools for humanitarian purpose. Their disaster rescue information platform can reduce evacuation time and help government to better coordinate center command with frontline workers. Now, let's welcome Mr. Slayer Drunk, the representative from GeoThinks, to talk about their solutions and the using field area. Slayer, please. Hi, we are Joe Things, and we would like to introduce uh, a safety solution for smart city. And uh, with our solution, city at risk turns the words of comfort into smart actions. So a little bit about our background. So Joe Things Inc., uh, our mandate is to visualize the invisibility of crisis. It could be the natural disaster, it could be like a human-made disasters or accident and so on. And we are a group of experts uh, who participate in a lot of international activities, like uh, the activities uh, in the humanitarian open stream of things and uh, the United Nations the GGIM, and uh, also uh, we were the uh, chairs of the Open Geospatial Consortium and uh, the International Telecommunication Union. And we also participated in uh, several of the projects, uh, collaborated with uh, Asian Development Bank and uh, also collaborated with the, the Austrian Institute of Te Technology, which is our European uh, partner. And uh, some of the, like uh, from Fiji's uh, National Disaster uh, Management Office for the National Disaster Management. And let's take a look at the current situation. So due to the climate change and the extreme weather, so we cannot prevent those kinds of situation and it might get worse. So what will be our response plan? We just call the 911 or 311, or we wait for the central government or state or city level rescue and the relief. Or we support, we wait for the support from the local humanitarian NGOs. Instead, we are thinking that uh, maybe we can organize and uh, unite with community on our own. So, Jupyter is a software as a service uh, uh, platform, and uh, this is actually the wish you all the best in Taiwanese, Jupyter. So, we provided this uh, emergency operating center for community, combine the form, map, and the situation awareness. So let's take a look at some of the use cases that are using our service, Jupyter. 
So uh, this uh, first uh, uh, use case uh, would be the environmental survey in Central Germs, Bangladesh. So you can see that, uh, some of our community volunteers and uh, our consultant using our application to go to the remote area to map the situation, to map the village and the house that does not exist on the map before. Then we know that, uh, hey, there's uh, some of the like, uh, houses and the buildings in the middle of a river because that is a kind of like a not a map before. So you cannot find that on a Google map. You cannot find that in uh, any kinds of digital map. But after this kind of enviro uh, environmental survey using our tools, those houses were there on the digital map for the local government, for the uh, humanitarian responders. So there's also some of the results that using the, uh, our tools uh, cases in Taiwan. So we, uh, we can see that those uh, results were performed and uh, we know the exact, uh, exact situation of the township of the village. We can see the like uh, uh, the damaged uh, street light. We can see the, there's a pile of woods in front of the house that might cause the fires. We even get the information about uh, the shelters, which is the community leader of that uh, village. So those information are usually not that easy to be known from the any kinds of sources. So using our environmental surveys, you can get those uh, community information. And uh, another use case, uh, uh, use our uh, solution for the building assessment in Fiji. So you can see that uh, uh, using these uh, kinds of uh, ICT tool on mobile phone, that works offline which means that uh, you don't really need uh, the internet connection when you do the survey, when you're doing the assessment. So you go to the remote area and uh, you have the detailed information about uh, the building, its material, it's uh, like, uh, uh, we even have an uh, example that uh, there's a, a huge rock on the house and uh, saying that uh, it's the enforcement the, of a roof. So it's a kind of like, a, uh, interesting to see that uh, and that uh, allow us uh, to know more about uh, each of the building. So we can use those data to plan the evacuation map. So here's the use case that uh, using our platforms and uh, get those environment data and uh, the building data, then we can uh, perform the evacuation map planning along with the local community and along with uh, the like uh, disaster expert uh, we can have uh, the map about uh, if there's a uh, uh, disaster strikes if there's a tsunami if there's a flooding then where people can evacuate uh, and where they should go and what they should prepare and we can even use this map uh, for the drill so here's a, uh, here's a, some of the uh, disaster drill use cases uh, in New Taipei City here in Taiwan. So uh, about, about uh, three years ago, uh, we have uh, those kinds of community, they use a paper version, they have the Excel uh, to have the evacuees uh, uh, like uh, write down their name there so we know the, how many people in these shelters. But uh, now they turned to use our service, Jubing An. Uh, that would be much easier for them to really check in the people, check in the resource and then know uh, who took what resource and uh, how many people will mind me, my, my needed uh, uh, assistant in these shelters. So we can even review the situation such as uh, like uh, uh, at the beginning of the drill or situation during the drill and also people gathering and the people starting to like uh, from the evacuated point to the shelters and uh, in the shelters uh, there's uh, some of the like uh, drill still performed like uh, uh, we have the earthquake drill here so people will just uh, hide under uh, somewhere like uh, tables and so on and uh, you can check the resource that was uh, uh, like uh, matched uh, uh, in real time. So. The best part of those uh, situations is not only to take a video or the picture, but also to provide the dashboard, the complete dashboard that uh, reflect the real-time situation of the disaster drill. 
so you can easily know the, what's going on there. That's why the National Emergency Operating Center of Fiji use our solution in their new uh, NEOC building since uh, 2019. And we also have uh, some of the testimony uh, from Fiji NDMO. They say that uh, one of the like uh, principal uh, of Fiji say, uh, the, okay, our evacuation plan was uh, seven minutes, but uh, with using, uh, using this uh, ICT tool, which is Zhou uh, Bingan, we can enhance our evacuation from seven minutes to five minutes, 33 seconds. And this platform can also allow you to map the drone data and the CCTV data. That is amazing that before we collect the drone data, we can only view the video. But how about we com combine those uh, into the map? So you can mark the affected area. You can have further information on the map. And of course, the CCTV to know the latest situ situation. Also, um, another use case that you can chat about. Uh, we have a, a large usage using lines, and uh, in North America, we use uh, WhatsApp or some of the uh, area or um, like uh, community, they use telegrams. So we can integrate those kinds of chatbots in order to provide the information, like a map information, and even to collect the situation, what's going on there, and they can reply, report using the chatbot. So here is another uh, use case here in Taiwan. Uh, we have the mask availability and also the purchase the situation on the chatbot. So the, the chatbot provided the situation about uh, how many masks left in the pharmacy and where you can go. And of course, the user can also report their purchase situation. There's a long line waiting there, and there's a uh, mask is already run out of the stock and so on. They can take a picture and uh, uh, upload to our platform. And uh, this is a, a very useful uh, use case uh, to, in response to the COVID-19. And our platform also provides the uh, CVL IoT sensor integrate uh, uh, on the, uh, our platform to achieve the flood forecast. So that means uh, in the community, they can have uh, the uh, knowledge about uh, the where we'll be getting uh, flooded and so on, and uh, the situation. So uh, our feature list will be the location-based survey, storytelling map, and the situation report notification uh, with the chatbot on the disaster drill template. We also harmonize the IoT sensor, drone, and the CCTV, and we provide further the flooding forecast and the alert. So that is the cloud EOC service that we provide for every community, and we are doing things. Thank you. Thank you very much, Slayer. With that, we conclude today's solution webinar. Thank you all for joining us today, ladies and gentlemen. Also. Please take a minute to fill out the online service, also the QA link. Your feedback will help us to improve the quality of our future events. Thank you for your cooperation and hope to see you again.